Welcome everyone to Selenium Training. Most of the people out here are manual testers who want to switch their career into Selenium automation. And the general thinking which people have is that, that fine, uh, I'm going to learn Selenium and then I'll do a project, I'll learn a framework and then I'll go for an interview and I'll try to clear the interview. Well, uh, the thing is, uh, this thinking is correct, but most of the people fail to clear interview with this thinking and the reason for that is very simple uh, they don't understand the expectations of the interviewer they learn selenium in a very different direction okay i've seen people who know selenium but they aren't able to clear the interview look learning selenium and clearing an interview there these are two different things it's something like you know you know how to drive a car but you just cannot go and participate in a car racing championship because that requires a different set of skill sets. You need to understand the expectations of an experienced interviewer. And I can make you understand those expectations with a simple real-time example. Okay, I'm going to take a simple real-time example. It's not a coding example. It's a simple scenario on a website which I'm going to discuss with you so that you understand what are the challenges which we face in a real-time Selenium project. Okay, and you understand that in which direction you need to learn Selenium. You don't need to learn it in a wrong direction and you need to understand the importance of automation test architecture. What is important automation test architecture? I will explain you in some time, right? Let me discuss this example. Okay, suppose if a client comes to you and he tells you that fine, this is my website uh, booking.com and I have to automate the scenario of uh, creating a hotel booking on this website. Right, so the client comes to you and you are an automation tester and the client tells you that fine, uh, these are the two scenarios which you need to automate. One is for the creation of the booking, the other one is for the modification of the booking. Right, you take maybe some days, maybe 15 days, one month to create the scripts, okay, and you deliver it to the client in the phase one. You think that you know this, you know Selenium and you simply build scripts and you deliver it to the client. The problem starts after that. The problem comes up maybe after one month, client comes up with the second phase of requirements in which he says that please modify the scripts to support the postpaid bookings. That is, the customer, instead of paying online for the hotel, he can come to the hotel and he can pay, but he can make the reservation online. So, you realize that implementing this change is not an easy thing. Okay, look, uh, the thing is automation script building is a costly process. If you have a manual test case, it might take you just five minutes to test the scenario manually. But if you have an automation script which has to be developed for that manual test case, it might take you much more time, maybe two days, maybe three days to develop the script. The process of building automation script is costly. It takes time. Right. And moreover, the change, like you have a change over here, implementing the change is a much more costly thing. It's, it consumes more time. And at times you realize that the change is not possible. Say in the phase three, the client tells you that please implement Selenium Grid. Selenium Grid is something in which you have a central machine and you connect other machines to this machine in order to run the test cases parallelly and save time. And you realize that both those scenarios, they cannot be implemented on grid because they were not made in such a way, they were not coded in such a way that they could be implemented on Selenium grid. And it fails the project. So you have a wrong architecture. The architecture of the project is not correct. Anybody can go and build the scripts. Writing five lines of Selenium code is very easy. But building a script or building a project, an end-to-end -end project, which can be changed as per the changing requirements of the client, 
which can be customized very easily with the changing requirements of the client that is the challenging thing when you go for an interview the interviewer generally asks these questions these are the very common questions which are asked in every interview that tell me about the automation project you worked on or how do you selectively run the test cases how do you only run the sanitary tests suppose uh, you have 1000 test cases and the client says that go and run only the sanitary tests which are maybe 300 so how do you selectively run the test cases and out of 300 if some test cases fail at times the client goes and tells you that go and rerun the failed test cases how do you do these things so when interviewer is asking you these questions he is not checking your technical skills he needs to understand he or he tries to understand have you ever designed an architecture have you ever worked on a proper test framework or a, or an automation test architecture okay so learning that thing is is a major challenge okay so if you understand the problem which i am trying to tell you the question which arises out of this is that what do you need to learn and how do you need to learn in which direction you need to learn all right now there are three stages of learning this tool the first two stages are easy wherein in the first stage you just have to learn about java selenium test ng maven git jenkins other things in the stage two uh, you can go and learn how to implement an end-to-end -end project or a framework with uh, building the scripts you need to implement reporting managing data test case management other things but most importantly the most important stage is the stage three wherein you need to understand how you cater to the changing client requirements how you should be building the stage two scripts in such a way that they cater to the changing client requirements or for example uh, at times you know in companies you have got environments you have got uat environment sat production post-production your project has to implement or has to execute on all the environments so with the minimum changes in the project in the configurations you should be easily able to run the script on different environments as well all right so understanding these things how do you run on multiple browsers the same script generate the reports run the test cases parallelly so there are different things which you need to cater to right so once you understand how do you learn this right you need to move forward and you need to understand the road map of learning and the road map of learning I am going to explain you with the help of four simple questions which almost everybody has like whether you are intermediate learner or a beginner in selenium okay now at times people who are learning selenium they are starting they ask a simple question that I don't know programming can I learn it well uh, I have seen that manual testers they are scared of programming probably because they never did it or they if they did it then they did it in a wrong way okay you cannot do anything if you are afraid of something right and you know java is important you cannot run away from java java is easy as well and java it needs practice we are going to give you a lot of practice questions and exercises which will help you you can start off java also from our website we have some tutorials available in java very good tutorials right you can start off from here this one selenium tutorial for java day one day two day three day four there are lots of tutorials available for java almost four hours three and a half to four hours they will give you a very good insight okay and the whole coding of uh, selenium is done in java this is a sample uh, script which i am having the complete script is built in java you cannot run away from java and moreover what i have seen is if you learn java then learning other tools become very easy if you learn selenium with java tomorrow if you have to learn appium which is for mobile automation or if you have to learn rest assured which is for our uh, api automation or if you have to learn jmeter which is for load testing then learning all these tools it really becomes easy if you learn selenium and java because you get a knack and you have to 
learn it by doing only thing is practice and learn it by doing that is the only way in which you can learn this tool right the next question is that how much time it takes to learn okay generally it uh, takes around 3 weeks to learn but in order to master it properly right it takes minimum 8 weeks to expertize this tool right maybe you take 15 weeks i have seen people uh, taking even 20 weeks to learn and clear an interview look when you go for an interview you, people you face over there they they are experts they might be having 5 10 15 years of experience in automation as well as manual so you cannot just face those people by just studying this tool for maybe 30 days or 40 days it's not possible and it is easy this tool is easy it take it's vast it takes time and don't expect fast results from yourself and even from us okay people they think that fine in 15 20 days i'll be ready it's not going to happen like that okay and the next question is uh, what about a project i want to learn frameworks i want to work on live projects well you can work we do cover projects okay a project is basically known as a framework in automation right and you cannot learn the frameworks directly you have to do learn many other things before that and we'll guide you we'll give you a proper road map and that okay and you know a framework is nothing but an end to end implementation of the test cases the same thing which i told you earlier you have to have uh, the knack to implement the test cases end to end which could be configured easily changed as per the client requirements and other things right and uh, you know the last question which is very important is how to prepare for interviews i want to clear the selenium interview a uh, well most important thing is java you have to understand java interviewer can ask can ask you questions on java and we are going to help you in that then you have to learn these tools test ng maven docker jenkins git if you don't know what these tools are and if you want to get a very good idea then you can watch this very good video it's what is framework junit test ng and maven over here it will open your eyes it will give you a very very clear insight fine and then you need to understand the web driver commands and selenium grid you can start over with web driver if you know java you can start over with web driver from here working with selenium right and in the end you have to learn about frameworks the first question in any interview is about the framework if the interviewer is experienced enough he will always ask you that tell me about the frameworks you have worked on and there are four major frameworks which you have to master okay if you look at this uh, say out here uh if you look at this then uh, these are the frameworks out here test ng and data driven framework hybrid framework each of them is like 8 hours 10 12 hours right it's something which is quite vast okay now these are the four questions which almost everybody has as a beginner and i've answered those if you have more questions you can comment below this video or you can come on the live chat of the of our uh, website right so that's it this is selenium for beginners slide and i just told you four things you have to learn it by doing it's going to take minimum 8 weeks and you have to learn java first and you have to learn all the frameworks